You have to be fully committed, you know, we're here weekends, holidays, evenings, you know, we're here constantly and the more you're here the better your relationship is going to be with any animal. You know, it's a really hard job as far as um, doing, lifting heavy things and working hard all day long, shoveling, um, lifting bales of hay. First thing we come in and we give them breakfast, we get, get a good look at them, make sure they're, they're fine from overnight. Um, and then weather permitting, we take them for a walk. And then we typically give them a bath. They lay down and we scrub their whole body and get a good look at, at parts of their body that you wouldn't be able to see when they're standing up, like their back, top of their head, their bellies. They're kind of like sandpapery. Um, parts of them are soft, like the backs of their ears are super soft skin and things like that. But the majority of their body is their, their hair is wiry, so it's pretty prickly. Throughout the whole day is a lot of picking up manure. <laughs> it's about 1,300 pounds a day. It's a slow process, and you just have to introduce them very slowly. Start out doing simple, basic commands, and then, you know, obviously, like the last thing that they would do is, would be take them out of the exhibit, take them for a walk. We do a lot of enrichment with the elephants, um, trying to come up with different ways to keep them busy and and uh, do things that they would normally do in the wild. I mean, they can do anything. They know different chunk man's ears. They can lift all their feet, um, lay down, sit, stretch. They can do all kinds of fun stuff, too. Jenny C. likes to, to suck on your hand, <laughs> and she likes her tongue flap, too. You don't realize how big they are until you're actually standing right next to them, but it's great. You know, I've worked with them for so